Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here in New Vegas, playing as Benny, the mastermind behind New Vegas' success. So, this is the final episode within the campaign, and we've done pretty well for ourselves. We've taken out Kaisar's Legion, we've rewarded our allies, we're playing America in the background for music, and... Great Cons are doing well. Desert Rangers doing well. The NCR is actually doing well as well for now. It's 2284. April 2284, I should be more specific. The NCR finished their civil war. And as you might be able to tell, this looks very phallic to a degree. If you catch my drift. Except it looks like it has a tumor on the side. But regardless, I took out the Ruby Valley Refuge and then split some territory up with the Desert Rangers for the right fruit territory. And it is time for us to take out Thrad's Legion, who has Klamath as a puppet. And the Mormons are killing each other, you know, the Children of the Gate versus the Mormon Alliance. So, Thrad's Legion. Also, it's going to be a little bit laggy in this game just because I'm processing another video in the background. They have a lot of divisions, not a lot of manpower. We actually surprisingly have more. I did spend some of my political power on coring some of these states, so it's actually pretty good. So, all right, let's see what happens. Uh, when we do that, you guys can probably stop training. And uh, also, I've been trying to make a tank division, an APC division. It's really APC. I only threw on two tank divisions on here, tank, two tank battalions. But if they get constructed, maybe they will be, maybe they won't. Regardless, let us go ahead and go to war and see if we have a great time with them. I have all my soldiers up here. New Vegas declared war on Thrad's Legion. We need more war support. And we are getting attacked in the territory that we currently own ourselves. Well, we'll see what happens. Our allies have been called in. Good. We're also at war with Klamath. Our allies are trying to attack certain areas of the line. Now, within this episode, obviously it's going to be much shorter than... Uh, other episodes, or at, least, or at least probably for most of the episodes within all the videos I've ever done, just because there's not a whole lot we can, we should do, a whole lot that we're going to do. I really just want to focus on Thrad's Legion because I don't want to go to war with the NCR. That doesn't seem very interesting. We do that all the time, pretty much, if we don't play as them, so. I could kill them, but I'm not feeling it. Just not feeling it. Besides, if we delay the inevitable, then maybe I can get a tank division out as well. Obviously, we have very... We only like 6 to 7% of the way there. So, it's going to take some time. And maybe Thrad's Legion will try to force their way against us here or there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, I would say, uh, playing as New Vegas was pretty fun. Especially going down the Benny Path. Very interesting to see what you can do. Also, we did do the Boomer Agreement. The Boomer Agreement. Boomers to the north are a bit of a wild card when it comes to interaction. Half as likely to blow you to pieces as they are to engage in a sane conversation. But, the promise of planes is enough to bait them into an official alliance with New Vegas in which we got better close air support production costs. Now, I can't do Lord Lake Mead's Super Fortress just because we haven't done rotary engine bombers yet. Which we could get bombers, which would be fun. But, maybe I'll research that. Another Securitron Division, very nice. I got two Vegas Mobile Divisions. And just kind of watching my ally somewhat struggle, somewhat succeed against enemies around here. But yeah, I do apologize for the lag. It's just, I'm, I'm at this time of this video being out, I'm very, very busy. And uh, usually I try to play this game when I'm not trying to process other videos. But we'll see what happens. With Thrad's Legion gone eventually, I would say I'm going to have a major expansion of the Desert Rangers. But also expand myself a little bit. Not too much, actually. Mostly for the Desert Rangers. Oh, we are getting attacked in some locations, but can they pierce us? No. Well, actually, yes, yes, they can pierce us. They're actually using Super Mutant Infantry under Chad Coins. Interesting, interesting, but I think for the most part we're doing a-okay. Oh. Oh, they're actually able to push out some of our puppets divisions. I do have a lineup of divisions back here, just in case. Uh, good. Yeah, go ahead and do that, because we got a lot of divisions coming through here. Go ahead and hold on, and for as long as you can, uh, Unit Leader Schmidt. That'll be great if you can. 
Just want to see how hard my allies can push. Um, 2,000 losses, not bad. They've taken most of the casualties from the Desert Rangers. Desert Rangers are really quite the scrappy bunch. They love attacking, attacking, attacking. And I can't fault them for that. You gotta love the AI. But I don't want to lose too many robots. Robots are important, to a degree. They got a lot of divisions, though. I wonder if they're mobilizing yet. They've lost about half their manpower. They got a lot of divisions. 278 and only 15 planes. Not a ton, not a ton. I have quite a few planes myself, and I'm loving them. Very nice. If anything, get some extra support around East and Nevada. But I have been thinking about the next playthrough, and if you if you were on my Discord, which I, it's in the link in the description below, you would already know if you are on it about which country I'm playing as next. Oh, there goes Mexico again. I've decided to play as this specific nation in mind because I know very, very, very little about them, almost nothing about them. And but I do, I have learned that they are not, not they are not part of the lore, and uh, I'm interested in playing them now. Post that campaign, so I'm thinking about the campaign, not the next one now, but the following campaign after that. I already have an idea who I'm going to play as, so I already have a pretty good idea who I'm going to play as. Yes, I will try again to attempt to attempt to get the East Coast mod, mod working, but. I just don't think it's going to happen. Ever since the launch of the latest launcher with the 1.8 fork, it's been a mess trying to get Old World Blues to function in any version beyond p patch 1.8. If I try to use patch 1.7 or patch 1.7.1, Old World Blues isn't there anymore. And you need at least patch 1.7 to to play old, the East Coast mod. So, I mean, I'll try. I really will try to get it working, but there, there are no guarantees in life except for death and taxes, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, just kind of watching here. I have big plans for the next couple of series. And really, as we go into 2020, now, you might be watching this when it's 2020, I don't know. But uh, I got some ideas, some ideas for what could come on this channel next. Actually, let's not do that. Let's do... More hardness, a little bit less speed, but more armor. Oh, another infantry division. Really? Don't really need you that badly anymore. Um, there we go. Losses. Well, we've taken our allies have lost quite a few. But we've well, we've done the most damage at least at the moment. That's that's a lot of divisions up here. That's a lot of divisions, if anything. I want, I want to see these guys struggle a little bit, our enemies. So, we'll see what happens. And we're building we're building a ton of infrastructure everywhere, guys. I mean, look at all this. There's so much construction that has to get done. So much taxes have to be paid to pay the workers to pay for equipment to get this stuff done. But I'm enjoying just watching the enemies suffer at the kind, this kind of moment. They're using super mutants. Super mutants against robots. And a lot of close air support. I should say a lot of close air support as well. Uh, ooh! Thrad is right there. Unit leader Thrad. They got a stacking penalty. They're using super mut mutants. Actually, I'll be honest with y'all. I've never used super mutants in any of my playthroughs so far in Old World Blues. Which actually sounds like I should play as a country that uses super mutants, obviously. Hmm. Maybe I should. Sometime. Sometime. I mean, Old World Blues has so many countries, and with the roadmap we are not going to run out of content anytime soon all right guys you're not doing great around here go ahead and hold there's no need to fight for around here we got extra divisions in the back we're creating more fortresses good things like that you know i want to see if our army general can get any more um stats or upgrades or stuff like that Let's see. Just want to mess around with Hutchinson. Oh, actually, that's our own infantry. Get, screw that. Get all the way back here. Wendover. Yeah, just leave that area. Stop sucking up all on that supply. I don't want to lose my own manpower. Screw the White Legs manpower. They can die if they so choose to do so. Oh, 10,000 playing toying with Thrad's Legion. 
some manpower of the Desert Rangers. We want to make sure our ally is not too powerful, lest they come attack us someday. Oh, they're not doing great. And that's why I'm also on the line. Klamath, how are you doing? Oh, they still got some manpower, even though they're on scraping the barrel. Great War APC. A little bit ahead of time. Less max speed, but better recovery rate. Alright, so be it. It's fine with me. It's June. I don't really think we can get to tanks anytime soon. Can they pierce me? Yeah, they can. Oh well. What happens, happens. And now we're over here. Guys, don't you worry. Don't you worry about a thing. Some famous musician named CB Wonder used to say, don't worry about a thing. Or actually, he, really, he's saying it, but whatever. Whatever, man. Um, we're getting attacked over here. Oh, they might be doing fairly well. And I may need more airplanes. And by more airplanes, I'm talking about close air support. Yeah, this music. I did change it up a little bit. I took off two of the playlists. Obviously, I didn't shoot, get rid of this one. Hmm. Oh, well. Whatever. Um, ah, yes. Pierce me harder. Actually, you're piercing me pretty well. So maybe a little bit of a cause of concern. But they're out of manpower, so I'm not really too concerned about it. I wish I could put planes down here, but I'm out of planes. It's a little bit of a concern of mine. We got fighters and stuff. Hmm. We're building some more military factories at Hoover Dam. We could use maybe a few more military factories. Swank was wounded. Please, Swank, don't injure yourself too much. Level one. Oh, there's six more factories we could build here next to Nipton. Oh, they're actually beating our line a little bit. Well, things happen. Losses are taken. Wow, that's a lot, that's a lot of losses. We've lost about half a thousand, five hundred or so. Guys, you don't need to go ham like that. That's a little crazy, don't you know? Go and reorganize yourselves, my friends. My robotic friends. Oh, they're... Yeah, the supply probably isn't super great around here. Fallon. Man, powerful. They do have Vault City, as well as New Reno. So they're not too extremely weak. They still have a lot of divisions. Uh, but planes. Close air support. That's the one I'm most worried about right now. Oh. Yeah, we don't need to make that many tanks. Yeah, do that. Take off 10. Put you back up to there. Do something like that. Um, take off five. Just make more planes. I want more close air support. I gotta have it. Uh, you know what? We could probably make an attack. Oh, they're running out of manpower. I love it. Get these combat robots in there. They're actually... One of these divisions I'm using only is 15 combat width. Oh, I could throw on a tank on there. That really hurt organization, though. What if I did this now? That can really, really ruin supply. But let's do it. Fun. Because we got plenty. Plenty of combat robots. Yeah, plenty of manpower now, which is pretty good. Um, focus on the internal sphere. I need more war support. Mobilize the people. Well, doesn't look like I'm going to get too much war support. I lost contact. Send out a search party. Thank you very much. I'm considering lowering my total manpower. Especially if we can core more places. I could core 268. Well, let's see. Let's come down here. This place I can core is 11,000. Good Springs has very little. Hidden Valley. Helios 1. Might be good to core. Oh, can I core Vault 3? 185. Helios 1. Let's core Nipton. They got a lot of. They got a lot more uh, political power or more population. And we got about 4,000 ish more population. Pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Oh, and we are still fighting around here. Um, not bad, not bad. Not bad whatsoever. And we might lose a tile, but that's why we got forts around there. Let them suffer. Let the super mutants suffer. And Klamath, how's Klamath doing? They're losing a little bit of manpower. I'm just enjoying my time doing this. Seeing them struggle so hard against us. Oh, more robots. Alright, throw them on here. Uh, let's protect the White Legs manpower just a little bit. Let's get rid of two of these divisions. That should help them out. Just a tiny, tiny portion. You guys come over here. Very beautiful. 
we wanted to attack, we could probably stage an attack this way. And you guys can probably come up this way as well. They can pierce us, but whatever. Whatever. Oh, we got the 305. Nice. No one has upgrades yet. A little disappointed. But so be it. Schmidt, you need to become more well-versed in being a desert fox or something. Custom-built capacitors. Very nice. More piercing. And uh, what else do we want? Support companies. I haven't really used that much on support companies anymore. I guess we could use logistics, I suppose. Some of our divisions still use logistic companies, which isn't bad at, at all to use. Uh, take this and take some more Securitrons. Have a good time with the Bone Wave? Bayo Wave. Ba Bayo War. Bayo Wa. Bayo Way. Wow. My pronunciation skills are not very good. A lot of divisions, a lot of divisions. I could make an encirclement, but I'm enjoying seeing some of the struggling that's going on. Oh, we took Carson City. Nice. Slowly but surely, we will be doing great. I really wish I'd get more upgrades. Ah, here we go. Securitron AI. Good. Adaptable. Sounds very good. Callahan. I wish you would become adaptable as well. Mountaineers, halfway there. Hutchinson, but really Schmidt. Hmm, if we were to push up. Oh, actually, before I think about pushing up. Any planes? Please. Only two. And right there. Let us have a good time with, uh, you guys can come over here. You got, you got 11 of you guys. Good enough. And if we were to, let's say, attack, I'd take you guys, and then take you guys, and take some of the thicker boys, and attack this way. They would still be able to pierce us, but it doesn't matter. Maybe make a small little encirclement. Maybe I'm just stalling to actually get tanks out. At least a single division of tanks. Because tanks are fun. Tanks are very much fun. And uh, when are they going to be created? They're halfway there. They'll be deployed. Oh, man. Screw that. Just get them out now. I want to see this tank in action. There you go. It's got all the equipment that it needs. We're going to follow around this tank, see where it goes. Uh, I definitely want to use it at least a little bit before we get too far. They've lost 28,000. Beautiful. Have they raised their conscription level just yet? No, maybe, I can't remember. Uh-oh, Camlo is annexed, the dredgers are coming out. Kimmel Station has no extra manpower. Ah, uh, but Klamath definitely does. Dredgers are getting bigger, thank you for taking out another nation to help reduce some of this lag. Uh, Maximilian's looking pretty good. No way of Aslan. Costa Cafinada is actually looking pretty good itself. They helped take out the guerrillas of Honduras. Um, yeah, the cartel's doing okay over there. Desert Rangers, blah, blah, blah. Foragers are looking kind of ugly. Look like a big N. Lone Trees are killing themselves, but what else is new? Uh, where is that tank? Did it get up here yet? Oh, it is. And it's already suffering issues with uh, supply. But what else is to be expected? Can they pierce my tank? No, they cannot. The tank has rolled in. And they, we are crushing the enemy. Beautiful. Truly beautiful. A blessed timeline. And then I'll send in... You three. Or, yeah. Move up that way. We're gonna start cutting these guys off. Ah, armor reinforcement. More hardness, max speed. Or less lot max speed, but whatever. Even more or less max speed. Ah, yes. Do them dirty. Get those big, thicker robots up north. And if not, push this way, my little light robot. You are only... No, you're 20 combat width, with a couple of gutsies, a couple of protectrons, a couple of uh, combat robots. Beautiful. And we have it. My friends, let's see if we can hold on to this tiny, tiny tile. Maybe, maybe not. Probably, though. Better air superiority. And it's time to... Commit not a G word, but not an E word, 
But a uh, destruction campaign. I think that's probably the nicest way I can put it. A destruction campaign. A campaign where they're not going to be living anymore. They're going to commit die. Oh my goodness, there's so many divisions here. Right now, casualties are 39,000. Commit. No longer alive. This, oh my gosh, so many divisions are trapped here. There's got to be a, probably around a hundred in total that were here originally. But alas, okay, so there's over 90 right now. 92 divisions, well, probably about 90 now. Environmental ceiling, all right. Do that, make us harder. Throw in a few more divisions, see what happens. Oh, we thought we did Kaisar dirty in the last few episodes, but this, oh my goodness, oh. That's so good. So good. That makes me happy. Uh, Y'all, come this way. Mm, do we have any more planes? Just give me all the planes you got. Well, close air support planes. Realign the front line. Well, I don't think I need these guys anymore. Thank you for your service. Yeah, I really don't need you that much. For that, really, anymore. I want more Robatos. Everyone, get ready. We are getting ready to do the ungodly push. Well, a robotic push. You know what? Let's get improvisation Improvisation expert. Movement bonus on land. I like moving faster. He's a level 7. God dang. Level 7, general. I can believe that. Oh, I didn't put any maintenance companies on my guys. Oh, well. What's done is done. Robotics. Sure, I'll get some robo brains. All right, let's do them dirty, my friends. Uh, the supply, I'm sure, is just terrible. Hmm, I wish I owned Carson City so it could help the supply out, but uh, well, there are forty-three thousand casualties now, total fifty thousand, and Thread, your legion isn't going to be standing up for very much longer. Oh, we can actually demote our subject, even though we, we've been using their manpower for quite a bit. Quite a long time. Actually, you know what? I feel confident that we can go back down to... Not that. Extensive conscription. Awesome. Give me three seconds. Three. Two. One. The great... You better go ahead, because I'm not going to fight any Mormons here. Nice, we've got some great war tanks. Eh, I'll do it anyways. Alright, the cons have a mind of their own. And I guess you wanted... Why did you declare war on New Canaan? That made no sense. Well, hopefully we can finish this great ungodly push through super mutant territory quickly. Um... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in that for right now. Besides, if I were to join them now, we would get crushed without the robots on the front lines. No, they go to war with Soros. I can uh, kind of understand that. Just don't be too crazy. Losses. They're piling up for them. Genta del... S Wait, what? 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 We have an ally. Now this is a nice Nevada Pact. You think you want to join the NCR? No, 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 no. You join the Nevada Pact. How did you join us? Was it one of... You must have been a focus. You went with power armor. Develop the outer city long distance movements. Mm, personal bodyguard. Uh, I'm okay. Think tank. Well, that's okay. Well, Genta del Sol. I guess we're glad to have you on board. All right, give me one of those bad boys. Get a new general that won't last very long under Schmidt. There you go. Reassess our front line. All the way up to Klamath. Reposition yourselves for the last final part of this maneuver. We've lost about a thousand men. Not bad. Cons just don't lose any territory. You don't have to attack like crazy. Just don't lose too much territory. Manpower. We're still losing manpower because I decided to demobilize some manpower. Oh, wow. We're working on a lot of infrastructure. Nice. Beautiful. No wonder they can't no wonder, even when I use their soldiers, their ranking goes down very quickly. 815, now it's 808, 
Dang. That's awesome. Zion. Oh, oh wow. Some of these divisions are extremely weak. All right, we've had enough time to think. Go ahead, push him now. Push him to death. Oh, we already took New Reno. Awesome. Yeah, I, I'm not really interested in fighting the, the Mormons. This is definitely the last video in the campaign. Uh, no thanks, not interested. If you have a beef with the Mormons, I mean, go right ahead. I'm not going to stop you. Oh, yeah, that's right. You had divisions around here, too. Or, I gave you territory around here. Even though you're not really connected, but you can move through my land, so that's totally okay with me. Mexico. Not really fighting each other. No, Nuova Aslan is not in its own faction. No, don't don't call me in. No, no, you, ha you have it under control, Great Cons. Even though you're probably not going to get much out of Thrad's Legion, you're probably actually not going to get anything out of this. Ah, uh, but there goes Thrad's Legion. But like I said, I am a generous ruler who rewards loyalty. So, Desert Rangers, I hope you like becoming thicker. You know, I'm going to even give you almost all this territory, to be honest. You can have Vault City as well. I'll take this stuff first. This looks a little cancerous. Just because I like to expand a little bit. But now that's some thick Desert Rangers. Between me, the Great Cons, the Desert Rangers. Oh, we were at war with Klamath. We were supposed to annex them because they were the puppet of Thrad's Legion. But it doesn't matter. I've had a lot of fun playing as New Vegas. If you haven't played as New Vegas, you should totally try them out. Because it can be so much fun playing as, you know... Mr. House, as Benny, as the King. So, regardless, that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this this episode, as well as this, this entire ca campaign. Um, I certainly really enjoyed this. But, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, maybe. Perhaps check out my Discord link if you haven't already. Um, yeah, regardless, though, we're going to start a new campaign tomorrow. We're going to have a great time playing as them. But, you know, until then, thank you very much for watching. And I really do appreciate you guys coming and watching my videos. And I hope you all have a great, great day.